And China's growing geopolitical power is gaining attention, most recently in sub-Saharan Africa, where China is importing about 22 percent of the region's oil. This, as a communist-led country, is also picking up some traction in the Middle East, with the president scheduled to visit Islamabad later this month to discuss building a peace pipeline. One America's Augusta Cassidy brings a story from Washington. Pakistan has an acute energy shortage, but officials there say they'll soon begin building a pipeline to bring in natural gas from Iran, thanks to the Chinese government. The so-called peace pipeline was first discussed over 20 years ago to help ease Pakistan's power shortage. But the United States has opposed the construction, isolating Iran and threatening Pakistan with sanctions in hopes of preventing a build out of their nuclear program. But six world powers, including China and the U.S., are currently working toward an agreement that would rein in Iran's nuclear program. Michael Maza of the American Enterprise Institute tells me now might be China's opportune moment. You know, Chinese are are not even waiting. It seems for the uh, you know for a final um, nuclear deal to be to be arrived at. And if the pipeline is built and is functioning over the next couple of years, I think it's a two-year project that'll that'll provide a you know pretty major influx of, of funds pretty quickly. The pipeline would be an early benefit for both Pakistan and Iran from the nuclear framework reached earlier this month. Maza claims the benefits for China are actually secondary, arguing China would just like to see a stronger Iran based on their shared interests, including the watering down of U.S. influence. But China and Iran have a, um, you know, what they would probably consider a fruitful relationship that goes back decades. Um, the Chinese actually helped Iran with their nuclear program um, earlier on. Um, as far as we know, we sort of put a stop to that. Um, but I, I think the Chinese are eager to see Iran back up on its feet. While U.S.-led sanctions on Iran have stunted the country's oil and gas industry, China has continued to be the world's largest buyer of Iranian crude oil and looks to continue that support in natural gas. Augusta Cassidy, One American News, Washington.